Conley at HowToRinch.com. I'm excited to announce that another uh, tool vendor has uh, decided to get hold of us at, at How to Wrench here and ask us to uh, test out their product. Uh, you know, as I talked to them on the phone and as with anybody else, they said I will never endorse a product that I wouldn't really go put in my own toolbox. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use this Easy Thread tool. And as you'll see in the video, basically what it is is it's a thread restoration tool to go in and cut the you know damaged threads. What happened was the company saw one of my other videos in my fasteners playlist and they said we want to let people know about this because this thing is such a great alternative to your traditional thread files. So if you've seen my video on this how to use a thread file and fix those threads absolutely a save the day tool right? This thing just has a completely unique application as you'll see it's very versatile. At the school I teach at we went ahead and damaged some bolts and then used it and obviously you know creating that forced you know use environment that that's all right for practice but what I'm really excited about for this video is we had a real need we had a real use to put this tool in action that needed to go ahead and prove that it could do what it's supposed to do why don't you go ahead and watch that right now they sent us two sizes here the smaller one and the larger one and for most of our motorcycle stuff I think this is going to be our best bet another thing that they recommend is to apply mineral spirits to the threads put in a spray bottle but you could brush it on as well what I got here is a Harley Davidson V twin engine. That technically, this is a whole crankshaft replacement. It's bad, but watch what we're gonna do. Let's get in here and look at the damage first. As you can see on here, you know somehow, some way, these threads got damaged. And I'll go ahead and take this brand new nut here, and you'll see that I cannot start it. It's just caught right there. So when you look at this though, what you'll see is. The threads on the back side are fine. It's just these first couple ones that are messed up. And if you take a look at this, those first couple threads I don't even need. When this gets torqued into place, all the good threads are on the back side. We need to get past those to be able to get this back in place so that we can uh, uh, fully torque this nut against that gear. Let me show you how I'm gonna use that tool to go ahead and fix this. you see how tight the threads are right there where they're smashed over so that nut just can't get started on there so that's what we're going to do is we're going to work our way all the way around the shaft until we get it good and uh, freed up. The other thing you want to think about this tool rotates this direction so if I touch it here it's going to want to roll off it's going to be harder for me to control. I want to be coming down this direction so that I can have more control of the cutter and not have it slip on me. What I'm doing now is I'm finding the last good couple of threads that will actually create a normal lead-in as you rotate a nut across those. All right, what you're going to see me do next is I'm going to go ahead and file off the high spots of those severely damaged threads. There's no sense in trying to save them. But take a look at this quick photo. You can see on the red arrow that there's a dark shadow underneath the file. That's because I do not want to touch where the blue line is. If you really needed to protect that, you would go ahead and tape that off. In my case, I just didn't need to worry about it because this is just a demo engine. So I just wanted to make that note. Now watch what I'm going to do next to show you how to file it. Give a little test fit. The nut will clear now and just butt up against the good thread. Now that I draw filed off the bad threads, I'm going to clean up the lead-in into the good threads. Actually, didn't take much at all. Look at what we need for usable thread. Remember, this doesn't sit flush there. If you look at where the thread contact is, we've got all good threads. I know I can put that on there by hand now. I go ahead and lock tight and torque as needed, and life would be good. I think this is a great save the day tool. I'm definitely going to have uh, one of these sitting in my box in both sizes to uh, handle situations like this. Alright gearheads, you just got done watching what an amazing tool this is. It'd be pretty hard to argue 
uh, the value of the price on this. You guys have seen on some of my other product reviews, I've kind of broken this down into four categories. Quality, price point, ease of repair or replacement, and then assembly or installation. So let's just go through those real quick. Uh, the quality of this thing. This thing has been beat up by students. Yeah, I remember I took this to my, my full-time job there at the college in our motorcycle training program, and we had students that weren't real uh, comfortable using a die grinder, so they were going the wrong way. They were banging into it and practicing on this, and there's been no change in the quality, the, the angle there, the tip point on it. It's, it's literally just like I took it out of the box. So I think it got a pretty dang good workout. Uh, the price point uh, for the small one, like I was using the video, I was finding about $20 on that all over the place. I was finding about $28 on this one. Uh, I think that's fantastic. You know, how do you argue a $1,000 crankshaft fixed with no labor, a $20 tool? That paid for itself 50 times over, not including any of the gaskets or labor. It's fantastic. You could tell I'm excited about this. And then... Uh, the ease of repair, uh, it, or I say replacement on that, it's, it looks like it's going to be easy to just replace them uh, if something did happen or it did break. As far as assembly or installation, I mean, putting this in a die grinder in your drill or whatever rotating tool, uh, it doesn't get much easier than just slipping it in a chuck and boom, it's ready to go. So I'm going to give it a 10 on that. So this thing's looking pretty awesome. I'm telling you, I think that uh, it'd be a great idea to get out, get these in your toolbox, and have an amazing save the day tool. I could think of numerous times in my 20 year career where I'm looking back and thinking, oh, Oh, if I only would have had that. And uh, I've put it to use uh, twice myself now. Uh, one example here at my shop, when I went to hook up my garden hose, simple thing, uh, the, the threads were all corroded and, and I was trying to put a wire brush on there or whatnot. And I just, I honestly gave up. It just, it, I just accepted the little bit of leak. And what my plan was is just to f replace the faucet. Well, when these guys sent me this and I became aware of what this would do, I came home and this was one of the first things I wanted to try it on. Went up to that faucet, cleaned up all those threads. Now the hose fits on there super easy like it was brand new. The O-ring gets the good tight seal, no more leaks. I mean, once again, paid for itself, uh, you know, time and time again. So HotWrench.com is all about bringing together great tools, great products, great gear, and great people. So we want to, uh, especially want to welcome Easy Thread and, and any of you other companies like this to our motorcycle community here. I fully support this. I think this is a fantastic buy and tool. So there's my uh, product review of this. I want to welcome you to visiting the website for some more information, some links where to purchase this. And as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.